Hello everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Um, today I'm going to be covering Ultrasight Ammo. I'm sure there's a lot of people that don't know how to make it, so I'm just going to kind of explain why you want it, why it's good, and uh, how to make it, of course. Now I'm going to link some uh, other videos in the description, so just keep that in mind, and let's get into it. So a reason why you would want Ultrasight Ammo is because it is, in most cases, a more powerful ammunition. And it definitely helps against like Scorched and the Scorched Beast Queen especially, and just regular mobs of enemies. Um, it's It definitely hits a little bit harder, just unfortunately it's a lot harder to make. So, but here's a great example right here. Like this gun would not take out that Scorched Beast as fast if it wasn't an Ultracite Plasma Core. So, just wanted to showcase how good the ammo could be. Um, it's really helpful when you're fighting Scorched and the Scorched Beast. But let's get into how to make it here. So you do make it, or sorry, you start by making it at the chemistry station. This isn't where you make the ammo, but what you're gonna need to do to make this ammo is stabilize flux. Now this is a video that I've already covered and it is a great one in my opinion. I'm gonna link it in the description and it will show you how to stabilize flux because you there are five different fluxes as you see here and you will need one of these to make the ultrasight ammo that you want you don't need all of them you but you will need one of them to make the ammo that you want and this usually does involve going into a nuke zone to get high radiation fluids hardened mass and glowing mass but i have a video like i said that i'm going to link in the description that can show you how to get that extremely fast at west tech you don't even have to go into a nuke zone other than to collect the flux which is also covered in the video so yeah, don't be, uh, you know, this is what you would have to do. You would have to come collect the flux that you would want. But like I said, definitely check out that video. Um, it explains that you basically just nuke the middle of the map and then it kind of makes it like all the interiors are um, nuked basically. So you will start getting high radiation fluids, hardened mass and glowing mass from places or interiors such as West Tech, the boroughs, all these places. It, it, like I said, it explains it in the video. Um, definitely check it out before you go, you know, stabilizing flux. But after you have stabilized flux, and maybe after you've watched that video, um, what you want to make sure that you have on is Ammo Smith, of course, Super Duper, and you're going to want Ammo Factory under the legendary perks as well. Um, of course, you know, maybe you can't have all of these on at first or they're not all the way leveled up But that's just something to work towards in the game I would highly recommend getting these cards all maxed and then you know, you're ready to make ultra sight ammo um, We're gonna make 50 or ultra sight 50 rounds here, which requires pure violet flux So I'm gonna make a ton of it here because I was able to stabilize tons of flux in the hours that I've spent on this game and as you can see, you know, we almost got 400,000 Ultrasight 50 rounds. So I just want to show it's possible to get tons of ammo that you won't even know what to do with. Trust me. If you don't have Fallout first, don't go doing this. Make a little bit at a time. <laughs> um, I also wanted to mention, too, the daily ops are really good for Ultrasight ammo and keeping it. I, I would say um, if you don't have ultrasight ammo you're not going to be able to get ultrasight ammo from the daily ops because how the daily ops works is it will give you ammo back for the gun that you are using so if you're using a gun with ultrasight ammo you will get that ammo back excluding ultrasight fusion cores which I'm going to show here and gatling or sorry um, ultrasight plasma cores as well um, so basically the two things you can't keep in your ammo stash box and if you have fallout first um, I highly recommend not making a lot of ammo just you know keep your your flux stabilized It's a lot better than making the ammo all at once unless you have fallout first of course And again, I'm showing here that you know You can't do this with the gatling plasma or an ultrasight or a regular laser uh, gatling uh, LMG you would say now another thing is too, if you have a fast firing gun, like let's just say you're using the LMG here, the MG42, whatever you want to call it, um, it's really hard to gain ammo. Like you will gain a little bit because you do get, you know, ammo at the end as well. But it's just, it's so much better for semi-automatic weapons that I'm showing right here. Like for a great example is the um, plasma caster if you're having problems getting ammo with the plasma caster like literally just try to make like 
50 Ultrasite Plasma uh, cartridges and then come in the Daily Ops and you will easily get tons of Ultrasite uh, Plasma cartridges back. And again, of course, for beating the Daily Ops, you will get a good amount, like 200. I've gotten four or 500, I think, as well. And I do highly recommend that you do this when it is Uplink. If it is the other one, I forget what it's called. Uh, I can't think right now. Oh, decryption. If if it is decryption, it's probably not the best one to do. Um, also, the pit is amazing too. So Expeditions is great for getting Ultrasight ammo back as well. Again, if you're using a semi-automatic weapon. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Definitely make sure to check out that video in the description. You will have no problem stabilizing Flux. And then once you do, just maybe come back to this video, if you need to check out the video, but then just come back to this video and then you should, you know, easily be able to stabilize Flux and you will notice the difference when you are killing enemies, especially, like I said, Scorch and Scorch uh, Beasts. Even the Queen, it does extra damage against, just in case you didn't know. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.